can affect machinery. If well, the, groups of people concentrate on it, they can slow machines down. The CIA it's did it, didn't they, in the Cold War? They tried to do You've been reading that book, The Holographic yeah, Universe. It's very you? interesting. That's yeah. my book! I know, I've borrowed it. It's also become a bit curly because I slept on it. <laughs> Give it back! I need that for my holiday! He bought that for me, the holographic universe. I'm going to buy you another one because I've made it go curly. I don't, I don't want another one because you, what you will, do, you won't do that. I will. I do know that. you won't I will do, do it. Like Look me in the eye. Oh, I'll buy you a competition. I'll buy you a competition oh, as a prize. Oh, boys, I'll you buy you both it. one each, please. You give that back, I'll young man. I'll give you that one back, and I'll buy myself one. Buy what? yourself one. Stop just want to have a curly one. Sit down and eat your dinner. Stop squabbling. Eat your fudge. Where's my fudge? Let's get the competition winner up. Or no, maybe we don't know. Has this person won the competition? We don't know. Do we? Lucy, hello, darling. You there? Lucy? Hello. Lucy! A Hello. spike is looking back. Oh, Lucy, is that Hello, you? Are you Lucy? right? Yeah. So, Lucy, <laughs> you might have won this competition. Oh, really? Yeah, I Lucy. Do, I do hope so. Right, so what, what do you, uh, so have you had a nice day today, Lucy? What have you been oh, up to? Oh, it's been awful. Why? What happened? Well, What's going on? I, f I, f I fell down a plug hole. <laughs> you fell down a plug hole? I fell asleep in the bath. I shrunk, didn't I? <laughs> Lucy, I, your I'm life sounds... I crawled on the back of that plastic duck. Oh, you Hello? stupid... Ah, hold on, it's actual Lucy. Keen-eared listeners would have noticed that was Trevor Locke <laughs> pretending to be Lucy there <laughs> to spare our blushes. Lucy, actual Lucy, are you there, dear? Yes, I'm here. Oh, that's <laughs> the <still, laughs> actual Lucy. She was there. Let's she is, she's there. Lucy, answer if you're here. Hello, Lucy. Hello. Oh, it's Trevor again. <laughs> this is like Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, come to us. Come Sp out. Come Sp into Spike. The light. Spike, the engineer. Up until now, I've been doing a wonderful job. <laughs> I'd liked his name. I liked Spike. everything about him. Spike. Spike. It reminded me of IDI. Spike. Spike. Dressed up as a current Spike, and I liked it. <laughs> but now <laughs> it's, it's turned into an absolute farcical on a bicycle. Trev, you might as well continue pretending to be Lucy. So oh, Lucy, I tell, you, I tell you what. What is it, Lucy? Do you remember that uh, email that Neil Strauss wrote on my? Do that in your own voice if you're going to do information <laughs> that Lucy couldn't possibly know, you goon. <laughs> Um, so Do it in your own voice, Trev! Neil Strauss, uh, famous seductor and biographer of Motley Crue. Seducer, Crew. you goon! Seducer. What's this, wrong with you? This is what he said. He's, he, he, some lady added me, yeah. and he wrote a in message MySpace, to her, and he wrote, on my this is what he yes, dot, yes. dot, 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 you're in for adding me while I'm on the air, and for forcing us to speculate on the missing right half of your face. Russell says birthmark. I think s the same. I think it's like the left side, but opposite. Do help. We have twenty pounds riding on this, Trev. Now this is what she's responded. Well, yeah, what that's what you wrote. That's I, what Neil wrote this is on what Trev's behalf. Pretending to be me. Like I Cyrano. Think Elvis has written back. She says, "I think the point is, you shouldn't be checking your MySpace whilst on air." No, no, you shouldn't. Do your job, Trev. Why the truth you got a is, over there, anyway? the truth Trevor, where is, where do you get that computer? Look, <laughs> where have you got a computer? You don't need to compute. Without well, me, you're a Turn up. computer, stop this computing. Whole show comes crashing down. Got, stop computing, He's Trev. More fruit of me, listeners. He's computing. He's, He's computing. Coffee. Stop computing, Trev. I've got, now, that's a coffee now. There. Yeah, stop it will things, teach you Russell. to compute. You've stop knocked the things, end off Russell. the microphone. Do you want me to re list, re read what she said? Yes, but you must stop computing at once. I think the point is you shouldn't be checking your MySpace whilst on there. Mm. Good point. She goes on to say, the truth is the right side to my face is located on my bum as a third cheek. Interesting I'm response. sorry if that means you both miss out on £20, but I tell no lies when it comes to my deformities. Actually, and she's Matt given uh, wins the 20 quid because he thought kiss. she was talking out of her bum. Hey! Woo! Yeah! We've all won the World Cup! Now, come on, what's the rest of this message? It's just nothing. There's a little kiss. So I think Neil is a charlatan. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense, Trev. You should be able to convert that into orgasms. Oh, now, dear, please. Now, someone oh, said we have got try. Lucy on the line. Let's try. Lucy, are you there? Hello? Oh, it's still Trevor. Why? It's very difficult to get a phone. It's because we're in Scotland. Yeah. But they have phones. It's, they invented is, phones look, up here. It'll be easier broadcasting from occupied France in 1940. Trevor, stop attacking Scotland. Something. Lucy? Hello, night talk. <laughs> <laughs> that is the sound of Lucy's put down phone, isn't it? Christ, Christ what the what the answer was. This is London. No, let's go to a track. We'll see if we can get Lucy up during that track. What are we going to listen to, Matty Morgs? Um, we are going to, to listen to, to a little song. Little, 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 song. little, little Richard, Richard. Richard! Long Tall Sally! Oh, blimey, we're going to rock out now, baby. Let's take down our trousers and pants and enjoy some music by Little Richard. <laughs> what did Trevor do? He was computing! I was trying to find emails from our listeners.
Why are you computing at time? What, on like MySpace? Not on MySpace, no. Oh, I'm not on the okay. Russell Brand email thing at get Six Music. Get a grip, woman. For God's sake. So, okay, we're gonna try and get Lucy the winner, possibly the winner, we don't know, of the competition. Spike's there with his fingers crossed. That's probably why he can't operate the board. <laughs> now, let's, let's see if... <laughs> Lucy, let's, 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 are you there, dear? Hello. I'm here. I don't know if you can hear me. Lucy! Yes, all right, all right. Magnificent. She's there. Spike. Yeah, and I am. Power. Lucy, what, what were you doing before? Were you, when we were talking, were you responded or could you not hear us? What was going on? How was it for Couldn't you, baby? Couldn't hear a thing. Couldn't hear a thing. Crikey, you no, poor, No, just poor sitting girl. here kind of, you know, wondering where I was. Well, where are you? You see what I mean? Yeah, no, I do see. Where are you? Where, you know, I don't want to sound like a disc jockey, but where, where are you in the country? I'm in London. I'm in Camberwell. Oh, London. I Tri remember there. Oh, kill Blimey, we had an hell of a time when we're down here in London, don't we, boys? Trip lives in Camberwell, don't you? Yeah, sort of. Well, I yeah. call it life. He <laughs> shuffles from place to place, <laughs> squatting in cellars, staring at his own undercarriage. Where are you? I don't know, oh. whereabouts in Camberwell? What, what are you going to do? What? Turn up outside, no, throw no, a brick through nice a window? No, you know, nice to know the details. Where, whereabouts in Camberwell are you? Oh, uh, whereabouts in Camberwell? The Woolworth Road. The Woolworth Road? Oh, yeah, that's great radio, you know, you Lisa, for, uh, for anyone who lives radio. on the Woolworth Road. That's where um, Charlie Chaplin <laughs> was born, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Chaplin. it is. Charlie Chaplin. No, that's quite interesting. Charlie he was Chaplin. born He's safe there, Kennington though, Road. No, he wasn't. Kennington Road. You little twit. Yes, he was. Woolworth Road. Trevor. I think he was born on Street, Castle Road. Huh? East Street, wasn't it? Yeah. Move on. Right, Trevor, I've got something very important to show you. Right. What was that? I didn't see it. I saw your hand. I didn't see it. Get it out. That doesn't count. Trevor is trying to look at my at genitals. Anymore. What's wrong with that lad? Okay, so Lucy, we're talking a little bit about mm -hmm. illness, seduction, fighting on the show. Have Charlie any... Chaplin. Don't talk about chappers no more. Now, have you uh, have you ever feigned illness in your life, Lucy? Lucy. Yeah, I have loads when? of times. Um, well, give us an example. Um, one time when I had a biology test at school and I pretended I had diarrhoea and they made me eat chalk. Oh, Did they made you eat chalk? What teachers? Yeah. Because they just eat that. Blimey, that's a yeah. very immediate that's, response. That's As a cure for diarrhoea. Eat chalk. Yeah. Eat your chalk, Trev! <laughs> that's what we should do. <laughs> Let's make him eat chalk. Oh, oh Trevor. Lucy, it's backfired. Oh, oh, it she hasn't. Got chalk <laughs> bunged up her pipe. So, Lucy, <laughs> right, there's so you, you've said I've got diarrhoea, you didn't have diarrhoea, and then as a punishment you had to eat no, chalk. No, I didn't, no. Oh, God, the irony. I had to eat chalk when there was nothing wrong with you. What else? When no, else? I had to keep running in and flushing the toilet and pretending. You poor cow, you but kept what a brilliant actress. That's good, isn't it? Even though you scoff for that chalk. Lucy, have you ever been in a fight situation? No, I've never been in a fight situation, but I have been punched. Oh, you poor son. That's a fight situation. That is a fight. Well spotted, Matthew. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, no, I wasn't actually in the fight. Someone punched me by accident. Ah, uh, bystander. <laughs> <laughs> you were just an innocent victim. Friendly fire. Friendly fire punch. Was it an American person just lashing out wildly, trying to get their hands on some oil? <laughs> Possibly. Could have been. Who knows? Lucy! Yes. Lucy. Yes. What did you think about Neil Strauss's seduction techniques? Um. Sexist. Well, you know. Do you want to go out of Trev? Do you want to go yeah. on a date with Trev, Lucy? You live nearby. You single? I don't do dates. No, no, I, I no, don't no. do dates. Because no, I, I, I want to, I want to end up alive. At the end. That's right. And Trevor has got a bit of a reputation as a murderer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. And where does that reputation come from? Your little fantasy. <laughs> I thought you were going to say my little fanny, which I don't even own. <laughs> <laughs> Your man. little fanny produces <laughs> rumours. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Lucy? I think you've got money to buy yourself a fanny. Well, I don't need to, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Lucy, hey, yep. what do you think is the answer to the Sonic Enigma? Big Mouth Strikes Again. Trevor, is it the Smiths? Big Mouth Strikes Again? You, it is. It is. Right. Oh, no, right. to take my place the human race. <laughs> All right. Yes. It's the correct <laughs> answer. It's the Smiths. Okay. Well, Lucy, congratulations. Thank you can you. come in. The very next time we do a live show, because the next one might be a pre-record, because I've got to go on holiday because of the old mental breakdown. So, uh, <laughs> but like, um, you could, you can come into the studio if you want. Oh, that'd be nice. Hang out of us. Watch out for Trevor, because as you know, a bit of a reputation as a murderer. Yeah, well, you know, I've been pre-warned. <laughs> pre-warned, forewarned yeah. is forearmed. So forearmed, said shaky, exactly. shaky Shakespeare. So who have you got in the uh, background? I can hear someone talking. You what? I can hear someone talking in the background, Luce. No, there's nobody in here. No one here? No one there? Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Shifty Poltergeist. About that, didn't Poltergeist. You? you did say no, no one here. Have you kidnapped someone, Lucy? Have you got someone all bound up? Well, yeah. Lucy. No, I haven't. No. 
You saucy devil. The... You're going well oh, with Trevor. that chuckle. Listen to that chuckle. Evil chuckle. <laughs> Lucy, we're going to have to let you go now because we're all a bit scared. But we are going to let you in the studio and let you loose on society. Take it easy, Lucy. Well done with the competition. Well done, Lucy. Boy, Congratulations. Boy, 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 congratulations. So that was good, Trev, that it was, uh, that, that lady got your enigma. It's an enormous relief, isn't it? But, you know, it is a woman that's got someone chained up in an attic. Yes. <laughs> well, I expected that, really. These are the kind yes. of people that are in tune with your thinking. Yeah, and I'm proud. Worrying, isn't it? Well, your life is like the lid of a quality street tin, you old fashioned buffoon. That is a beautiful lid. That's <laughs> one of the great lids. <laughs> <laughs> great lids. <laughs> <laughs> with that lady with that skirt that goes that out and the guy in the penny cow, farthing, the bloke that, with the top hat. That dickhead on a penny farthing. How dare you? He is a dickhead. He's a gentleman. He's a dickhead. He's a gentleman and a scholar. I don't trust Private that income. penny farthing bloke. He's got a flat in the country and a town in the house. Other, other. <laughs> Well, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Other tin lids are available. For example, roses. Matt, have you enjoyed the show today, baby? Yeah, it's been good, actually. I've come round. <laughs> he come round? <laughs> Woke up. Don't you know, he was unconscious at the beginning of the show. I prefer it when he's asleep. He's better in a coma. They help hope for us all. Competition winners, did you enjoy it here? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, what a laugh we all had. <laughs> Helen, my lovely assistant, purchaser of pants, saviour of days. Have you enjoyed it here? I did, yeah. <laughs> it's lovely to have you here. I appreciate and I adore you from the bottom of my little area. Now give me some <laughs> little pants. <laughs> yeah, give me some pants. Get me into the Ron Muick exhibition. We're going to the Ron Muick exhibition now. We're all going to go. Brilliant. Be nice. Well, it's a bit right. embarrassing that he's covered in coffee and fruit and you're covered in <laughs> whatever that is down you. Ha <laughs> ha! Would you like you me mind to tell if I don't you? walk around with you? <laughs> yes, I do. I am a cultural reviewer. <laughs> <laughs> you have it. People, there'll, there'll be, be a hushed notebook. air around there. Yeah. It's Matt Morgan. He's writing in his notebook. He's doing a cultural review. Everybody. <laughs> Produce a smell. <laughs> <laughs> Something you can understand. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, what a show it's been. Thank you very much for listening to us. I wonder how this is going to work as a podcast. Next week it might be a pre-recorded show, but by God, it'll still be brilliant. Sorry we didn't get Noel Gallagher on the air, but you know what he's like. He's unreliable. He's always been the same. Cancelling gigs left, right and centre. We should sack him. Let's get rid of him. That He's held us back, that guy, for long enough. Not working hard enough. Now, let's get him on the show next week. We'll find out just what exactly is wrong with him. Okay, so what we can listen to is it Big Mouth Tries Getting by the Smith? Hang on. We're going out on the Smith. What's we up, man? We open the show on the Smith. Yeah, we start the show with. No, it's Morrissey, actually. We start oh, the show that's on a Morrissey. Big difference. He we're still go- sings in that stupid voice. Oh, you, oh, you've attacked Morrissey! You've attacked oh. him! Oh. oh, how dare you! You disgust me for a man who sits and listens to his own brain din. Let's listen to the Smiths. Big Mouth Strikes Getting No Rap, Say My Players, Human. This is Six Music.